What do we say about Joel Embiid right now? First and foremost, he struggled basically against the Toronto Raptors the entire year. He's had more turnovers than assists against them. Okay, so it's not just this playoff series. But he's been flat out awful, awful in four of the games. Now, in the one game he got off, like Drake just alluded to, he did a lot of front running. I broke this down on NBA Countdown. He made nine baskets that game, Greeny. He celebrated after five of them. Okay, he did the Hulk Hogan to the ear. He did the airplane. He did the shimmy. He was feeling himself. But the Toronto Raptors took that personal, kind of like Dame Lillard did with OKC. And they showed that to their team. And they made sure that he wasn't going to do that again. Mark Gasol did a terrific job of defending him and knocking down threes. Serge Sojabaka is the primary defender. Pascal Siakam made him work when he was guarding him offensively. Joel Embiid had eight turnovers. You can't have your all-NBA performer not show up in the biggest games of the year. Listen, Joel Embiid is a guy who, before the season began, in, in, in full, uh, you know, exposing myself here, I picked him to be the MVP of the league because I thought he was ready to take that next step. But from a maturity standpoint, whenever things go badly, he's got a lot to complain about. When he's not getting the ball enough, he's got a lot to complain about. When things are going well, to your point, he's dancing and he's having a very good time. Is that a guy, that personality a guy you can build a championship team around? That personality is a guy you can build a team around, but the fact that he's not always available makes me feel like you can't necessarily build around him. And the reason why he won't be MVP is because he won't play 75 games. Like, you got to be available during the regular season to win MVP. Last year in the playoffs, he missed two games. This year in the playoffs, he missed a game. In game one, we were talking about his knee. In game two, we were talking about his stomach. In game four, we were talking about him being sick. Yesterday, we were talking about his illness. So people get sick. It happens. However, it's happening at the biggest time of the year when his squad needs him the most. Is this a referendum on the process as we speak right now and going forward? Absolutely it is, because if you think about it, your two best players have distinct flaws. I just talked about Joel Embiid and his lack of health and his injury concerns, and then Ben Simmons won't shoot the basketball outside of the paint. Again, I didn't say can't shoot the basketball outside of the paint. I said won't. He's been playing basketball his entire life. For somebody to get to the NBA and won't take an attempt outside of the paint, and he plays point guard, it hampers your offense. It creates an anchor next to your big guy, Joel Embiid, because he doesn't create space. So what does that mean? What are Embiid and Simmons going for? They're supposed to be the cornerstones of the franchise. Where does it go? I think what they should be trying to do is beg Jimmy Butler to stay. Okay? Yeah. That's what they should be trying to do. Tobias Harris has not showed up big time in this series as well. But I don't believe, based on the process, they're going to be championship ready with Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons as their two best players anymore. What, 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 when you say that Ben Simmons won't shoot from outside the paint, I assume it's because he knows he can't shoot from outside the paint. Should he be taking these shots? It's all about confidence. He's been playing basketball his entire life. But you're the one who told me he's shooting with the wrong hand. Correct. I said that on the night that he got drafted. Yeah. And so just, just think about this, Greeny. Here's a guy that's so very talented. Big Sim ben Simmons can dribble. He can defend. He can finish at the hoop. But as a primary ball handler, at some point, you got to make a shot outside of the paint. Have you ever seen a player not shoot the basketball outside of the paint? No. That plays on the perimeter? I have never seen this take place. No. So, therefore, when he's on the baseline and Joel Embiid is trying to post up, that creates a double-team situation every time. So, I guess what we're leading to here is the question. If the process is ever going to get to its ultimate destination, mm -hmm. which is a championship, right. Is Ben Simmons going to be the point guard on that team? No, no. I feel like if you're going to decide to build around ben, uh, Joel Embiid, that means trading Ben Simmons. I don't think – Wait, Say that again, trading Ben Simmons. Yes. I, I think if you're, if you're going to decide to build around Joel Embiid, you have to trade Ben Simmons. Those are the two pillars of your team, okay? Ben Simmons won't shoot the ball outside of the paint. And he can't make free throws. When the playoffs come and the game slows down, you want Joel and be in the post, not at the three-point line. If, jo if Ben Simmons is on the baseline in the dunk spot, there's really no true room to operate and for them to maximize their potential. So when, when it was said last week, I think it was Jared Dudley, whoever it was that said it, I'm blanking for a moment on who it, it was. was. I think it was Dudley yes. who said, you get into a half-court game. 
he's an average player. He's right, right? Yes. That's, that's, that's an I, accurate statement. Yes, it is. I agree with what he said, yeah. and he was accurate. When you, get, when you have broken floor situations, steals, blocks, deflections, long rebounds, oh, you can't stop. He, he's an all-star player, but the playoffs are a different game. And when it's slow, if they were playing all pace and space with the floor open, then you couldn't stop him from getting to the bucket. But since they have an anchor down low in Joel Embiid, now him not being able to shoot becomes a factor, and it hurts their offense. The process is in trouble.